As we near the one-year anniversary of when the country went into lockdown due to the novel coronavirus, we take a look at how the COVID-19 pandemic affected Ganesh Chaturthi, Mumbai's biggest 10-day festival. Devotees in Mumbai bid farewell to Lord Ganesha as the curtains came down on the 10th day of the annual Ganesh Chaturthi festival. The visarjan or immersion of Lord Ganesha in Mumbai is usually an elaborate affair with numerous dhol tasha groups playing loud music on the streets bringing the city alive with song and dance. However, in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, Ganesh visarjan was a low key affair. More than 35,000 police personnel were deployed across Mumbai to ensure rules were being followed. The city's civic body had also arranged for smooth immersion of idols by deploying men who would complete the visarjan rituals on behalf of people at mobile ponds and other areas. In a bid to avoid crowding, the police had appealed to people to not perform aarti at the visarjan spots. Instead, they were asked to do the rituals at home before stepping out. Mandals or groups that organized Ganesh visarjan were told to strictly follow the COVID-19 norms. However, some pandals and processions in the city saw people gather for the final journey of Lord Ganesha. While most people were seen wearing masks, social distancing certainly took a hike at some of the Ganesh visarjan processions. Juhu Beach and Girgaon Chopati which is usually overcrowded with devotees during the Ganesha immersion processions bore a deserted look with very few people at the site Overall the immersion of Ganesha idols was a low key affair in Mumbai in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic with a significant decrease in noise decibel levels from the last few years anand chaturdashi 2020 was definitely the quietest one mumbai has ever seen subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon